This is the next bit of my journey. Now, it turns out this crossing is broken and if it hadn't been for someone passing by, I would have never known. Okay, thank you. The spinning cone's not working. So I could have been there for like easily 10 to 15 minutes wondering why the lights haven't gone green for me yet and unless that guy had said something. So thank you to that man. I only have a tiny field of vision so I move my head around a lot in the next bit to try and look for cars as well as hearing. Nothing from that way, nothing from that way. Yes, I talk to myself when I cross the road. So I know as soon as I hit those bumps that I am approaching the forecourt for the garage and that I need to be really careful. It's okay, you can go. Thanks. Guy kind of stopped, but I waved him on so that I would actually be able to hear and see better if anything came behind him. And I felt like that was the safest thing to do in that situation. I wouldn't step out in front of his car in that situation ever because something could just go round like a motorbike.